We get to grips with this week's BattleBots, we get hype for new hex bugs, and we get all revved up for some live events all this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to the show. We start off with this week's episode of BattleBots. Of course, no spoilers in this video, just photos from the fights. First up, Malice versus Blacksmith, an excellent fight, one for the ages, an utterly destructive battle. The second fight of the night was a rematch between Black Dragon and Claw Viper, who of course fought in the 2020 season of BattleBots. Now, the new version gets to grips with Black Dragon once again. The third battle was between Longbot Smee and Full Body Spinner Gigabyte. This one, a very strange fight indeed. Then we had a story all about how their lives got flipped, turned upside down, and yes, I'm talking about both teams in this one. Definitely one to watch, you won't want to miss Hydra vs Glitch. Tombstone took on free shipping in a battle between two live scene veterans. Of course, back in the day, it would have been Last Rites versus Original Sin. Now, Tombstone versus free shipping. P1 took on P1. Wait, that's Ribot in disguise again. The chameleonic body paint on full display as ever. An excellent fight. And the main event, a rematch between Endgame and Sawblaze. One for the ages, perhaps? One for the purists instead. You'll have to wait and see what happens by watching the episode. You can also check out this week's bonus fight between Jaeger and Captain Shredderator over on the BattleBots YouTube channel. And for more thoughts and feelings as to this episode from me, Sam and Steve, you can check out the Robocast over on Sam Elliott 64's YouTube channel. This week's special guests, David Jin and Team Ribot. In the last week or so, we've also had announced the new Hexbug BattleBots that will be released this autumn. Hypershock and Rusty are the two newcomers to the packs. Hypershock, of course, promised a robot way back in 2017. Now finally getting their toy and Rusty, a fan favourite. We're also happy to have it, I'm sure. The Gamma 9 team seem to be building something new and strange. It has lots of suspension variable heights and articulated in the middle. More news on this when we get it, on what it is and how it works. Last weekend saw Motorama Robot Conflict take place in the US. Lots of robot competitions in the 30 pounders, both sportsmen and full combat, as well as the 12 pounders and the beetle weights, as well as the ant weights, I do believe, all happening in one weekend. Some great fun had by all the stream it was amazing fun as well. In the Beatles, Shredder Bro won out with their new look drum spinner egg beater type thing. Disco won the 12 pound division. Well done to them. We've seen them previously competing at Norwalk Havoc. Beam, a horizontal spinner, much like Tombstone, won the 30 pound full combat. And this robot, La Machine, won the 30 pound sportsman class. Well done to all our winners. Meanwhile, this weekend, we've had the BBB bot brawl for the Beetleweights over in Bristol. A really nice varied mix of fan favourites and new bots. Some big names competing and some big names looking around as well. One Ian Lewis from Team Razor was wandering the pits, having a good time, it seemed to be. And we had some lovely fights as well. Myself and Gav Woodruff were on commentary all day and it was superb to see all of the action live there and in person it makes such a difference the top three however from this competition in third place was flipperbot sproying in second place oobly the egg beater and in first place shane lale with end boss congratulations to you three coming up on the 19th and 20th of march is Maker Fight, a French event over in, of course, France. Look forward to seeing some action from there. And tickets are now on sale for you to go and see Nork Havoc Robot League's first session of the year. This in March on the 26th. With all of our news now wrapped up, it's time to take a look at this week's fan submissions from the Discord. Be sure to go and check that out where you can get your fan submissions in the news. We start off with Robot Combat models who have made this wonderful Doctor Inferno Junior model. It looks fantastic. So very cute and so very accurate as well. Meanwhile, Chaotic Robotics is pulling out all the stops once again. 
they've customized a witch doctor seemingly to become a ribot vertical spinner setup looking very good alexander from team angry archery has finished creating their miniature version of hypershock and antweight in the us this thing looks amazing banana does stuff has made this replica of triple crown in rr2 that's robot rumble 2 for you and me for the 2021 and 2022 rep pack and finally the bot builder has shown off the thumbnails for the new robot wars omega series coming to his channel very soon these are very colorful and i love them 100 percent and that is just about all for this time i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a like do subscribe to the channel and do be sure to check out the world of woodrow facebook page to keep up to date with all of the latest news and be sure to check out the world of woodrow discord where you can get your fan submissions in and also have a chat in the community until next time, farewell.